Hello, my name's Taylor. Thank you for joining us to celebrate National Indigenous Peoples Month. Your Toronto Zoo's mission is connecting people, animals, and conservation science to fight extinction. Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge that the land I am standing on is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people. I also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit and Williams Treaty signed with multiple Mississaugas and Chippewa bands. Miigwech. Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today here at the Toronto Zoo from our traditional knowledge trail. I'm going to share a story with you today called The First Butterflies, shared with me by an elder named Basil Johnson from Kettle and Stony Point First Nation. Long ago, spirit woman gave birth to two human twins. And these human twins were cared for by the animals of Earth. The wolf would play with the twins, and make sure that they were having lots of fun and engaged. The bear would provide its fur to keep the twins warm. The doe provided milk to keep the twins fed. All the needs of these twins were met by the animals. However, one day, Bear asked all the animals to gather around the twins and noticed that these twins were off. There was something wrong with them. He noticed that they didn't run, walk around, and play like all the other animals' children did. Just then, Nanobozo was walking through and seen the animals, and the bear stopped him and said, Nanobozo, there's something wrong with these children. We need your help. Nanobozo looked at these children and said, you've done such a wonderful job caring for these children. Every, all of their needs have been met. However, when you do that for, for children, they don't learn to do things on their own. So Nanobozo promised that he would travel west to learn how he can help these children to walk. As he traveled west, Nanobozo encountered the Great Spirit. And the Great Spirit told him that the answer for these, uh, for these twins would be found along the slopes of the mountains. So as Nanobozo continued on his journey, he came to these mountain slopes and he found these colorful little rocks all along the, the slopes. They were red, they were yellow, they were blue, they were green. After a short while, he had gathered a large pile of these stones together and he began throwing them up in the air and catching them. At one point he threw them up in the air, but there was nothing to catch. And so when he looked up, he seen these stones changing and morphing into what we now know as butterflies. So he traveled back east. These butterflies followed him to the twins. When the twins seen these butterflies, they began to reach up at them and try to grasp them. But their fluttering wings were always just outside of their grasp. In a short time, the twins began to crawl, walk, and run after these butterflies in an attempt to catch them. These butterflies teach us that even though we want to do all we can for our children, it's important to let them grow and learn independence. This is the story of the first butterflies. Thank you for letting me share this with you. Miigwech.